Oh my god! Look ladies and gentlemen, it is one of the largest species of moth in North America and Canada. My name is Bart Coppens, the Sexy Moth King, and I am known for my YouTube videos about butterflies and moths. And today I'm going to show you a very special species. I've made videos of them in the past, but it's been a while and back then I definitely didn't have a good camera or equipment, so now I'm going to show you in high definition the robin moth. This species can be found in the woods, in Canada and parts of the United States of America, where it may be one of the largest moths that you can encounter. Although there's a few other moths, moths in the USA that can have a similar wingspan, this one is definitely among the biggest. The caterpillars can eat a lot of plants, interestingly, such as buttonbush, but also willow, oak tree, ash tree, lilac, and honestly a lot more plants. I can't even name all of them because I would go on for and on for a few minutes. The caterpillars are also really colorful. Let me show you a clip of the caterpillars that I raised last year. I'm breeding this species. It feels embarrassing to admit it, but raising the caterpillars to me personally seems exceptionally difficult. In fact, it took me over 12 years to figure out how to raise this moth. Maybe it's the place where I live, I just can't create a good environment for them. And I kept trying. I'm not sure why they are so difficult for me honestly, because I raised many species of moth in my life, including some species that others would say are more difficult, but not to me. But the robin moth has been one of the most difficult ones so far. However, the caterpillars are stunning and do have colorful arrangements of tubercules on the body. They can eat sweet gum, ash tree, cherry, birch tree, oak, lilac, maple, willow, buttonbush and many more plants. Breeding this species is highly recommended if you are looking for a true American giant. But they will be a spicy challenge. They are not easy to breed. One thing that's unfortunate about these big moths, however, is that they only have one brood a year. The cocoons always hibernate, more or less, and spend the winter out there in the cold, waiting for the next spring to arrive. And then around spring and summer they can turn into gorgeous moths. Like the one that I'm holding here. Now this is just a short clip of the robin moth, Hyalophora cacopia. In my opinion, it's not an easy species to breed, although moth hobbyists do like to breed them in captivity. I am one of those people, but I definitely struggled with breeding the species in the past. And now finally this year I've had a good result with them for the first time. If you have any moth breeding tips, leave them in the comments so maybe us moth breeders can help each other. Female specimen as she is huge. Females are generally even bigger than the males. Wow! This is one of the largest moths in North America. And if you have some experience with moths, breeding them is very rewarding and satisfying. If you can cope with the fact that the larvae are very sensitive. This moth right here is definitely my biggest individual so far. She is huge. She is huge. Very big and healthy size. And I'm gonna make her mate with these two new males. My name is Bart Coppens, also known as the Sexy Moth King. I'm an online entomologist that studies butterflies and moths. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more species, you better subscribe to my channel because I am working with some really, really rare species behind the scenes and you don't want to miss it. Subscribe for almost 2,000 free-to-watch insect videos. See you in the next one.